Hamas's surprise assault began with the firing of thousands of rockets from Gaza deep into Israel. Many landed, causing damage and death. But the majority were stalked by this, Israel's Iron Dome interceptor system, operational since 2011. Developed with the United States, but only used operationally in Israel, the system is mounted on trucks to be moved where needed, but also to avoid being targeted itself. It's composed of three subsystems, a radar to find inbound rockets and determine where they're headed, a battle management computer, and a launcher with 20 missiles used to intercept threats up to 70 kilometers away, then explode next to them and kill that threat. The system can and does track hundreds of rockets or missiles at once, considered perhaps the best ever system at doing so. But it isn't infallible. Swarms of rockets can overwhelm it, likely why Hamas fired 4,500 rockets in just three days. Some did get through. One significant factor is cost. Hamas rockets can be just a few thousand dollars, while each interception can run between forty and a hundred thousand dollars. But Israel's not going to run out of interceptors. The Americans make the Tamer missile and have vowed to now resupply Israel's already sizable stocks. To conserve missiles, the Iron Dome will only intercept if it determines the threat will hit a populated center. Otherwise, the sophisticated system ignores it. For more than a decade, the Iron Dome has provided security and solace to many Israelis. That's now been shattered, not solely by Hamas's rockets, but the murderous ground assault which followed.